All right, welcome back guys. So without further ado, here's my basic fishing setup. Just from watching the videos, this is what I decided I probably needed day one to go out and actually have fun fishing. So first off, here's just a few baits that I got from the January box. A couple of hooks, they only gave me three, so I'm hopefully I'll get more hooks. Um, and then a couple of little swim baits and then the rage tail. And then the other basic materials that I thought I needed, basic tools here. Tape measure, obviously, because there are limits. Uh, you need to have to have certain sizes to be able to keep. Uh, scale, because just for fun, uh, that's a Walmart, I think it was 18 bucks or something. Uh, basic nail clippers, so everybody said to cut your braid, you wanted nail clippers. Uh, I decided I'm gonna go with a braid and a fluorocarbon leader. So I actually went with a 50 pound braid. Yeah, it's probably going to be overkill, but I really don't know what I'm gonna be running into. So some of that, some of those, um, so I don't really know what I'm gonna be running into. So I went heavy with the braid and then with the 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, uh, probably a 10 foot on there. Uh, hopefully that'll get me where I need to go. I can always switch that up later, but that was very basic to get started. So obviously a multi-tool for whatever I need. Uh, Swiss Army knife, again, to cut whatever I can, whatever I need to. Pliers, yeah, they're old, they're rusty, but it's gonna pull hooks out. And then a basic pair of scissors, not a big deal there. So so I did already uh, string up my uh, uh, braid into my basic, basic fishing line here. So essentially what I have here was given to me, and it was a garage sale item but it's a uh, Shakespeare six foot. It's one of those uh, medium action uh, to two piece. Um, again, it was given to me. I think it had a two or $3 price tag to begin with. Uh, this has got a Mantis reel again, Shakespeare. My guess is this was a uh, very basic, you know, Walmart special type deal. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here. 381. Uh, you know, it's designed for six, six to 10 pound, not a big deal. I'm just going to go out and have fun. Uh, if I get into this and I really enjoy it, then I'll probably upgrade rod and reel and everything just because that's a natural thing you do. So that is my basic setup for right now. Uh, the only other piece is a standard backpack. So with a, with a backpack, I had one sitting around already. Let me grab it here. So this is just a basic REI. Um, I think my wife bought it for me a little while back and I just never really got to using it, but it has a lot of pockets, a lot of zipper pockets, some side pockets. Seems like all the guys that do the pond hoppings uh, have the backpack with everything they need. My tackle box here fits in there real nice. I actually have a another box that I was keeping nuts and bolts in, but this will probably, you know, maybe turn into a trout box and keep the blue one as the bass box. We'll really see as we go. Um, other than that, that is what I plan to start out with. So basic gear, cheap gear. I'm not a professional. I don't plan on being a professional. Um, you know, this is all for fun, but this whole setup, you know, excluding the, the backpack was, you know, 50 bucks, um, if that. Most of it was tools that I had sitting around at home. The, only, the biggest cost item was the line and the scale and then obviously lucky, lucky tackle box which I'm just going to keep doing and hopefully I'll get enough gear there if I have to supplement it with additional I'm going to try to keep all of the tags with most of this stuff so that I could potentially get more of the same and or you know if I decide to move out to um, you know same brand different pieces then I can do that but I really plan to stick with lucky tackle box for now so Hopefully that gives you guys kind of a little bit of a, a thought. It's very basic, I know, and it'll just get bigger. So um, hopefully you guys can stick around and see what I can add to the collection, to my bag. Um, and go ahead and subscribe. I'm not sure what the next videos will be. Um, I might do one on knots, just some of the basic ones that I needed to learn. Um, got a real good uh, FG knot for the leader to the braid that I've read all about. So. We'll give that a go and I'll uh, talk to you guys later.